Hello, everybody. This is Wizbor 100 along with Hitman again, and we're going to be playing the game known as Hitman, the game that started the hit series of assassinations and such. Yeah, I uh, not so familiar with this one. Uh, you, oh, did... Did, you put, did you put your watermark over the subtitles? Unfortunately, yes. Oh well. But don't worry about that. What was it, was it? So, so yeah. we're, we're, we're going to be uh, instructed here in this very first Hitman game. I, I believe there's like six now. Like in the total games? Like there's, there's yes. been a lot. There's this game, Silent Assassin, Blood Money. Contracts. Which was like a remake uh, of a few levels, right? Uh, yeah, Absolution. Contracts had, a bunch, had levels from this and Silent Assassin. Absolution and the new one, which is just called Hitman, which makes it very confusing. Yes, of course. So, but uh, this game, I do remember you doing a small attempt at let's playing this, and only like. Uh, yes, I only made it past level three because that was when the game completely like took a dump on itself. A dump on itself, like how so? It was because they they stick you in. Well, we'll we'll mention that. When we okay, get yeah, to I was gonna say but, we'll uh, mention that because I know where it is too. So this is the tutorial stage, which I didn't skip because it builds some atmosphere here. Yeah, we're uh being lectured on being an assassin by Dr. Dracula here. Yes, Dr. Not Kovac, but it was Dr. I want to take your blood for sampling purposes. And to count the chromosomes. Also these three. This guy praises you for like the lamest tra- like uh, after this part with the knife, he'll be like, very good. You made it past the training level. Not many people get past here. So I at least try to take a look around the place and not just run through it, because you can. Yeah. Which not many tutorials let you do that. Strangely, this game actually has better knife animations than the later games. <laughs> oh, really? Because the knife animation here is really killer, I gotta say. It, like, it really fucked me over in the game. Yeah, well, here you actually, like, use it for stabbing, and it, like, flows somewhat, but you just, like, slash around with it like you don't know what you're doing in the later games. I don't think that's changed much if that was the case. So, I've played this Hitman game completely, and a bit of Silent Assassin... Here we speed up because nothing interesting, but I kept yeah, the dialogue in. Yeah, weapons. There, there's no point in, in grabbing all the ammo. It's not that you get to keep it, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And look how many stuff he's stuffing in his coat! Yeah, it, Hitman's got an, an infinitely deep coat. That's one of the things that they they got when they cloned him. Uh, from uh, Solid Snake? Or Big Boss, yeah, I should say? He's, he, he's the, the other clone from that. Or he has samples of... Uh, oh, I guess we spoiled it because he's a clone. Yeah, that's that's the basic story here. Is that uh, we're the cloned we're the, assassin. We're the Hit best cloned. Yes, apparently. Like super uh, engineered to be uh, the best at everything. All the right genes, no recessive genes. Curse these recessive genes and um, no emotion. Cold-blooded killer, perfect assassin. Yeah, but that time to falls apart later on in the series. Spoiler alert. Yes. But that's not really much of a spoiler, ever, especially if you've seen the games later on. Yeah. But, so Blood Money, I think, is when most people uh, appreciated this game. Either Blood Money or Silent Assassin, so... Hmm, uh, Silent Assassin did inc did improve a few things, I'll say that much. But uh, Blood well, Money is the one... I'm talking in terms of the popularity of the series. I, I think no, I think Blood Money, because Blood Assassin. Money is a lot uh, funnier. Well, Blood Money was uh, oh, the, look most, at that. the biggest spike in... What? what? There's a thing where my computer is way too... It's way too sophisticated, so the physics actually don't work. You'll see that a lot. Huh. That is very strange. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, as, as I was saying, Silent Assassin, the, the game sort of picked up in popularity after this game. And then, after that, uh, it, it spiked up again with Blood Money. And then people kind of got lukewarm on the series after, after Absolution. And then there was a big stink about the most recent one. Oh, did you miss? Yes, because there's a... F there's <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. And there's also, like, a floating... And that doesn't kill or cause him pain. He's just like, oh, I'm fine. Oh, what's yeah, this? These guys, these guys, if they close in on you, will one-shot you. Mostly. Because they always aim for your head, and they always do so with perfection. Well, they um, they have, like, stun guns, and you just get knocked out. Oh, yeah, that too. Uh, there's also something weird. I swear this didn't happen when I originally played on my older computer, where there's a lot of floating in this game, where when you're just standing still, the screen just, like, waves around, and it really fucks with your aim sometimes. Ah, yeah, I'm just an orderly with a with a um, sniper rifle here. <laughs> yes, yes, bringing weapons out. And the ragdoll physics. <laughs> yeah, this game, uh, 
This game really lacks some of the things that would make, like, Hitman. Good. The refinement? Like, well, it's mostly the, like, non-linear nature of it, like the choose-your-own method of assassination kind well, of thing. It, it, here, it, it, here there's really usually only one, like, method the game wants well, you to do. It, de it depends. Some levels, they give you some options, but uh, for the most part, yeah, it's it's pretty lin linear. Like, you have to do things in certain order, otherwise the game's just gonna not let you win unless you cheat. Which I was thinking about doing a run where I turn on god mode and just, like, fuck with the game and see what's up. Which I actually learned a bit more about the game's uh, levels. So this is Hong Kong. People talk okay, and on our very first assignment as a hitman, we get sent to Hong Kong. You know, when it said one year later, I thought he stayed in Hong Kong one year later. But no, he arrived here a year later. Yeah. Where was he doing that? In the closet? Well, you'll learn after that. No, I meant the computer thing. So here we're reading Simulation. the info. Oh, oh the, okay. I see what you mean. Oh, yeah, you also mentioned something in your, like, Let's Play before uh, that I remember, where it's like they don't pay you enough for these assassinations. Like, they're so little. Yeah, 13 grand for a professional assassin. That's, that's terrible. Well, like, this is for, for, an for a, nego a, ne a negotiator, so not as much as, say, uh, Lee Hong. Yeah, which but is no, in this I mean, video. like, even... I would figure that even, like, a major criminal being assassinated would take up... Or, you'd, you'd want at least, like, 60 grand for that, you know what I mean? In uh, in Blood Money, they pay they pay you pretty reasonably. Which I have yet to play, but I want to. Yeah, in Blood Money, you get bonus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also remember a thing from your Let's Play where you... Where you brought everything, your, your snipe rifle, but you had no bullets because they didn't give you any bullets. Oh yeah, they, they don't they don't give it to you loaded, so you have to buy each individual bullet. And if you don't buy it, you just you have an unloaded sniper rifle. Yes. Oh why and they let you do that, I don't know. It's it's dumb. There should be a thing where it's like you have to go into the mission with at least some weapon, like at least a melee weapon. Even if yeah. it, even if it's ineffective. There, there'd be something. no way to finish this. Actually I'm pretty sure there'd be no way to way to finish this mission realistically with a melee weapon. Unless you turned on god mode, but yeah, this mission particularly you have to shoot. So yeah, oh yeah, those binoculars and compass, completely useless. I don't know why yeah. you have them. This is a very simple mission. There's going to be a negotiation. And the, you gotta the kill idea him. Is, the idea is these are lead-up missions to the actual mission that you're trying to do here. Yeah, because uh, you're trying to weaken the, uh, the, the, big, the big target here. So you got to take down the small stuff, weaken the defenses and whatnot. And when I was playing this with God Mode on, later on, not in this video... Uh, I noticed that there are actually four buildings with elevators that I could have gone on, but I just, for some yeah. reason, uh, just went to this one, which gave a really a hard spot to shoot from. Yeah, I I usually pick the one immediately to the left when you when you enter, because that's the one that's closest to the exit. No, that's right, that's right. And there's also another one where you can shoot from a trash can, too, which was actually a better spot, too. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, I picked this one, so I had to work with it, so I screw up a lot. Yeah, this, uh, so the, I guess the point of this mission is the, there's these two triads negotiating, and it, and you're gonna kill the negotiator, nego negotiators for the Red Dragon. <laughs> the Red Negotiator, yes. Yes, you're gonna kill, you're gonna kill him, and then, so the Red Dragons will assume that their man was killed by the opposing triad. Which... And they'll go, and they'll go to war. Yeah, and so, you know, forces, uh, don't work together and such, and, which is kind of weird, why would they, why would they think it's the, um... Oh, I guess it is only just one Red Negotiator. I mean, they got escorted out by the blue guys. Yeah, it doesn't make that much sense. Oh, but and ha ha ha! Chinese people look the same. Her as a criminal uh, organization. And I gotta say that no didn't give much thought to it. I, and I gotta say that nobody say anything like, uh, "Oh, hey, like we got like twelve witnesses, like uh, he was assassinated by some bald guy." Like even if they do see you, and as long as you run away, they don't even talk about it. Yeah. It, does, it doesn't seem to make, especially given that the blue guys shoot at you. Yeah. So here comes a red dragon, and gonna have a few fuck ups here. Mainly because I forgot how to play with the sniper rifle. Cause, oh, it's so weird. See, when you when when you use the scope, you actually have to click the fire button to like zoom in and such. Oh, oh, and check this out. You see how I'm higher than the ledge? Why is the ledge like half my scope? Yeah, it doesn't really make it doesn't it'd be like if the gun were the gun like didn't physically exist and it were just like pressed up against your face. Yep, so I I messed that up cuz I also forgot how to zoom in with this one cuz I was like, "Oh, what button was it?" And whenever you attack them a helicopter comes in, but for some reason this guy's just right in my scope. Yeah, they've got that they've got the helicopter. <laughs> oh, that's great. 
I don't think I ever did. I think I just ran away from the helicopter when I did it. You can shoot the guy and then take his M60, actually. So yeah, when the Red Dragon Negotiator gets back into the car, you can't shoot him anymore. I don't, right. I don't know why. So mission failed. I didn't notice that. So here I try again. It's like, okay, zoomed in. I swear that could have uh, that that hit his head. Yeah, the, the aim was like you're, you're like flicking around the aim there, but yeah, it looked it looked close. And look at this, like pff, bullshit. This isn't a hard mission, by the way, but it's just yeah, like... very short, very simple mission. Just snipe from the rooftop. That oh, it. there we go. <laughs> of course, he goes flying. Love the ragdoll physics. That's Doesn't pretty make nice. Sense. And of course, you should always keep your weapons holstered, which I learned later on, but that should have been obvious. But I thought I could, you know... Holster a sniper rifle. Alright, I'm just gonna drop it. I was hoping that, you know, I could just run for it, don't have to, like, put it in the case, but no, it's a good idea to put it in the case. Yeah. <laughs> I love the fact that he just slams it against that. <laughs> and then he goes, there he goes. You can't kill the helicopter guy, which okay. is kind of sad. I'd like to see it crash. Yeah, if you try going into the into the park, they'll be like, "Oh, get out of the park." Yeah, this is why you do it at the at the other end. Yeah, it's it's much closer, which I found yeah. out later. And they're not like triad guys immediately looking at you as soon as you like do you like take the shot. Oh, there'll be a lot of speed up for the for moments like that where you know there's nothing much to see, but I'll still show me going through it. Right. Expenses paid. It's a success. Next mission, we gotta go. And kill some of the blue the blue lotus. It's another very easy one, but uh, it's I don't know. It's this it, one's restrictive. You have to. There's one thing they want you to do, and it's like a reference to Godfather Part One. Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That this mission. Yes. Yeah, because what you're supposed to do. Well, we'll see. The they don't intention. exactly tell you, but the the idea is you have to um be dressed up as a negotiator. Oh, this one? No, not this one. This is a different one. This is the one with oh, the uh, no, no, the taxi. Okay, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, there's this one. But but it still applies to what you were saying. They want you to do it in a certain way, and that is to use a car bomb. You can go in guns a but obviously you'll probably die. Yeah, and you also need to, I think, take a um, take a dis specific disguise in this one as well. Yes, which doesn't make... It makes sense, but the other half doesn't make sense. We'll see. Yeah, one of the things I really loved about Hitman was the ability to do things perfectly. To, you know, only kill the target and, like, make it look like you were never there or look like an accident or something like that. Or some so other seemed, outside force, which you are. It seemed like you could be a really, uh, really be, like, a master assassin. But in this game, it's just like, yeah, it's, re it's really obvious that you were there and really obvious how you did it. But nobody's going to know as long as you make, if you make the escape. Well, I mean, they know, they just can't really do anything about it because you're gone. <laughs> Actually, if you kill too many civilians, they will know about it, actually. Which I found out yeah, when I was playing god mode. They do not let you do that much. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's restrictive. And those manhold covers. Yeah, that's... just like the open sewers. <laughs> that's a very effective uh, hiding place for bodies. And these, yeah, it's because nobody ever looks down there except Hitman. Because he's the only one that has a brain. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go down there either. I'd be like, you know what? If there's a dead body down there, I can, I can just leave it. I'm not getting paid enough for this. And then this guy, he wants to go to the washroom, but guess where he goes? Yeah, he just pisses into the open sewer. <laughs> and I'm just following him, and nothing. He's not like, uh, what are you doing? Like, they don't make a comment about that. Except oh, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't even pee into the sewer. He just he goes to, like, to the side, like, not over anything. It's, like, splashing onto his shoes right now. It's nasty. Uh, yep. And so this I, guy should be killed for poor hygiene alone, honestly. <laughs> and for being stupid. And then I have some trouble... Wait, did you, hmm? did you take his disguise at the same time? While he was getting choked, yes, you can do that. This game is very what, uh, unrefined. Heck? So I tried dragging the body, and it, uh, I was having trouble with it. You have to, like... Yeah, the body physics in these are always weird. But you have to, like, drag them and, like, spin them around. And that yeah, it, it's really annoying. I don't get why you have to drag them, like, by the feet or whatever. Or, like, a Metal Gear Solid where it has to be slow. Why can't you carry them over your shoulders? Yeah, that was another. That was one big complaint about like blood money, for example, because like you could, you could do it like Sam Fisher style and just carry him over your shoulder, because it's it's faster, but you can't. Uh, I guess the downside to, to carrying him over your shoulder is not as easy to like pull, pull out a gun and shoot someone. Not really. Like it's a harder, sure, but still. And I'm like, oh, I'm lucky nobody caught me. Like <laughs> nobody caught me with the <laughs> yeah, dead the, body here. This is like. Uh, oh, and check this out. 
What the oh, fuck is that? Pulled on his own? No, no, I pulled him oh, all you the pulled way from, him from down there. I was like, oh, you'll see something even funnier later on. This game's buggier than I remember. Yes, it is. It's it's really buggy, at points. So we put the car bomb in with the disguise on because if we don't, they'll be like, he's he backing. Always, Hitman is is like not even at all subtle about things like this. He just like looks around slowly, like the shiftiest movements. Pot. He does everything in the shiftiest possible way. By the way, apparently like Hong Kong is like consists of like one lane, one way streets like this. Oh, that's funny you mentioned that cuz uh when the car comes around, just take a look at uh oh when the video yeah, slow down. Just just watch this when the car comes. Yeah, look at that. It just like swings right into the like, if, <laughs> if, if there were a person there. What like, completely take <laughs> Somebody out. didn't do the map design properly. Yeah, and you, and you take out the three extra guys. By yeah, you have to take those guys. There. Yeah. You, you have to kill all the blue guys. That was the goal of that mission. So now this is the one you were talking about with the Godfather. Yeah, the next one. The the restaurant. Yes. The one with the police chief who's, who sounds like he smoked a bunch of cigarettes. Yeah. So the police are trying so, to come in here to like um, prevent this full scale war, and we got to kill right, him because because the police are like you know on the take of both the triads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, war is bad for business. Oh, corruption. Yeah, it's every like fictional depiction of Hong Kong, the like police are getting paid off of uh, paid off by something monsters of various stripes. Yeah, that, that's that's typical, and it's always like a plot twist somewhere, but. You know, everywhere or else does that too. I like how they can give you, like, you can carry other weapons into here, like the shotgun, but it's such a terrible idea. Yeah, it's an awful idea. Y you can't, you can't hide it. So, like, when I picked it out, the first thing that happened is a civilian sees it, and I was like, Shh, well, why'd you let me take it in? Yeah. So, of my brilliant uh, genius, I decided not to take a melee weapon for silent kills and brought an Uzi, which uh, I will pay dearly for. Yeah, you really only need a silence pistol in this level. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. So I try to look for the where yeah, the, the red dragon comes. If there's in. anything, by the way, about Hong Kong that I would not expect to be true. It's that like the the streets are completely unpopulated. Like, look at this, just one dude. Yeah, it's awfully uh, laid back. Or yeah, maybe... Except for except for cops, which you're gonna be seeing in a minute. Co cops are just everywhere. Oh, well, because this is like, a meeting. One somewhere. in every three people in, in Hong Kong is a police officer, according to this game. So at this point, I was like, shit, I only got a newsy. I guess I'll try and kill him from this distance where nobody can hear the bullets. But... Clearly that... Clearly, Not surprisingly, uh, they do hear the bullets. Yeah, they, they, they hear the bullets. I mean, most people should. Yeah. Unless they're, they're death. Actually, mostly, like, old people running around this place. So there's a little trick you can do with the dragging the corpse. Is, uh, if you hold the side button and then hold up... You just drag like a like a hundred and eighty pound man like with no nice. trouble. Well, Hitman's supposed to be pretty strong, but I don't know about that. Guards have been notified of sus suspicious act behavior by civilians. The meeting has been canceled. So I was like, "Well, shit." Try again, but this time bring a knife. Oh, you're taking the newsy? Hmm. Yeah, to shoot the <laughs> to shoot the chief of police and the bartender. Yeah, I kind of need to do that. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like there's that many options in this mission. Like, you have to take one disguise. It's, it's very, it's pretty, it's pretty, that aren't the... What can I do for you? It's pretty specific. Why is it shaking like this? I don't know, it never, it doesn't actually do this in the actual, like, uh, if you played it on, on, a uh, on, like, the computer normally, but it just shakes around, so I was like, I was like, something's not right. The and way I, he, like, picks things up, too, is just wrong, like... He twists his arms and stuff. He twists, he twists his hand. It's, like, it's completely weird. Okay, so the Godfather thing you were mentioning. Yes, you, you drop the gun in the bathroom. Or let it float. Yeah, let it let it float in the bathroom. Yeah, so and I then, tried every single option like, to fix the yeah. video issues, but, like, no, nah, just, like, my computer's just too good for this. This is the Steam version, by the way, not the CD version. Yeah, sometimes old games just mess up on, like, current operating systems. Yes, Are you giving him the key back? I, I tried to, but it was like, a, oh, I, I guess you don't need the key back. <laughs> he doesn't even accept it. So then I tried to look for the red the red dragon. Like, where is he? Oh, there he is. Now I just got to wait for him. 
And I'm sure we all love waiting. Oh my god, some of these missions are so long when you have to wait for certain things to happen. It's, yeah, it's like the, this guy's walking down slowly. It's so bad. And that is the yeah, stupidest. You really, you really messed up picking the, the knife instead of the fiber wire. Actually, the fiber wire is kind of a little bit worse because uh, at least with the knife you can defend yourself, which you'll see later on, but... Yeah, that well, knifing that, animation. That part is better because you can't, uh... For, for one, it's it's quieter than a knife. For two, you, you don't leave bloodstains with, with fiber wire. Well, that they, factors into... I, I don't think they ever notice the bloodstain in this game like it's there, but they never pay attention to it. Yeah, and in, in, in future games, if you play on higher difficulties, people will notice, like, blood spatter and, and like, blood on you and things like that. Oh, that's so interesting. You, you because you can, because uh, in this game you can be loaded with bullets and like uh, they don't bat an eye unless you have a weapon out. Another thing I think is that um, fiber wire will not be taken in a weapon search. Uh, they, it won't get detected by metal detector, which is a thing in the later level. Yeah, that that too. Because I know they'll take a knife from you. Yeah, obviously. Now another way you could have done this is to climb through the window again, but there would have been a cop yep. on the other side. Hmm, yeah, that metal says high. To, you have to time it a certain way. You have to like make sure he's not patrolling when you talk. You must be the name is irrelevant. Pat Morita, this guy. Handle this delicate matter to Mr. Hong's satisfaction. Satisfaction. Bathroom. Please excuse me. Why doesn't the bartender question this? Why doesn't the bartender be like, hey, you went to the bathroom, like, literally two minutes ago? Or wait, no. And he doesn't recognize you from the fact that you came in earlier. He doesn't recognize your face. No, Nobody does. Enough. Nobody yeah. ever does. They that try is silly. Like, 47 is actually a distinctive person. Like, there's no reason why he shouldn't wear, like, makeup or, like, toupees and stuff like that. Or face disguise. No. <laughs> and I killed the bartender because he tried to shoot me, too. Yeah, he killed oh, these yeah. guys around. But You're... inevitably... In oh, check this... this out. Check this out. I spawn at the car. Mission success. What? They let you get away with that. I was like, oh, okay, it's whatever. No sense. It doesn't. This oh, more broken than I thought. Remember, remember when like the police shot their own guys? They yeah, and yeah, they yeah. died, so, and so you lost money on for that them. level. Was wait, basically you have to. The only thing you can do here because you have to make noise. Like they will always detect you. You have to run out past the police, and there'll be like twelve cops there shooting at you. So you just have to run all the way down, and. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to run all the way down while the cops are shooting at you, and then at the end of the mission, I got, I got like three, three additional kills from the mission. And I was like, where did the three come from? Because I killed the one guy and I killed the bartender, but who else did I kill? And it turned out that the police actually like shot their own, shot another cop and killed like, them. All the bullets flying in the air killed another cop, and then they, they said that it was I was at fault for that. Oh, that was and funny the, and bullshit. And the game deducted like points off me for it. Okay, so here's the big I can mission. Kind of, I can actually kind of see it now, because, you know, it like, was my fault, because I made a lot of noise, and the cops detected me, so I made them shoot, but... Still, still it's kind of like, like the... The game gives you, like, no options for that. The, 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 it's like the truth got skewered. So this mission, I spent four fucking hours playing. No yeah, joke. this mission, I don't remember being that hard, it's, but it is, it is pretty intricate. It's it's very elaborate, and just, like, one fuck up, you're, you're just screwed. Good to see there's no sex discrimination in Yakuza bodyguards. Or triad. Yakuza's Japanese. Oh, yeah. So, ex excuse me. Ah, there's the freak, freak out. So I killed <laughs> this guy. I believe you bent that guy's uh, knee at like a 90 degree angle. Oh, he's dead. I guess he's not going to feel it. Yeah. Yep, completely ch Do you talk to the bartender in this video? Because yes, yes, I do. That's one of the sillier things about this. Oh, actually, I do talk to him, but um, I don't show the full dialogue. That'll be in the bloopers. Nice place. So I, sk I, I skipped this a lot because I was like, first? fuck is this. Yeah. Or I guess... I like how you're dressed as one, of the, as one of the triad guards, but he doesn't acknowledge you as being... Nope, not guard. at all. Also, thanks to playing God Mode in this oh. level, I was able to see places that... that You could have done the assassination in a different way, but I'm, yeah, I chose to do it the way they intended you to do. Good choice, sir. Good choice, sir. I thought like the, I have um, Midget, a Mike Tyson. Midget Khan over there. Or usually, Midget, Midget, Midget Kubla Khan, I would guess. Usually, I would have killed that guy by the stairway because nobody else goes through that stairways. And, and you are no fun at all. Oh, Great wait. to skip all the dialogue. Don't worry, we'll have the dialogue in the thing and and, uh, and all the extra stuff. But, uh, so the the point here is that uh, the madam from the the uh, brothel portion of this place, uh, she knows that combination to a safe 
So. And we need to get a Jade figurine from that save. Oh, you mean this lady. Did you know you can actually just kill her and take the combination? Yes. Okay. But the, the what they intend for you to do is, like, escort, escort her, her away. Yep, which leads you to as, somewhere else. As she's doing very sneakily right now. Oh, yeah, just let me take a hooker with you. Nope, nothing nothing strange at all. If you go to left here... I've got, I've got this fetish. I can only get it up, you know, past, uh, or behind, uh, dumpsters. It's really, it's really weird. Looking at that ash. <laughs> <laughs> it looks funny, so I did, did that a few times. And then it just, it, she just instantly comes up and then screams for no reason. And now for some reason we have to be sneaky. Did you see that guard in the back over there? And now suddenly he's over here. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't notice. Ah, <laughs> oh, quite a few fuck-ups with this part. He does a front flip. I do not remember it being this bad. But it's like funny bad. I do not remember the uh, the physics being this bad. I remember them being bad because you can send things flying and it's uh, that's funny. So I, so I try to get the corpse in the in front of the camera because I want to. Okay, so there's also someone from the CIA held captive here. Yes. And the gar and the bartender is surprisingly open about it. Yes, you, he is. If you go a few more dialogue lines down with the bartender. He oh, will then. mention that. He'll, he'll be like, oh yeah, you know, this uh, CIA guy was mouthing off, so we have him tied up in the basement. This guy tried like, to get into oh, a Lee Hong safe, so, uh, I mean, bad move. And, and, like, you're telling, like, not only is, would this be terrible if you were, like, you know, this guy had any, like, law enforcement authority. Like, not <laughs> only would it be, it'd be terrible there, but this is a potential customer. Are you actually going to tell a potential customer? Yeah, we, we take people we don't like down to a dungeon. And like, why would you them. not just run the other way immediately? Oh, I would. Hit, Hitman47 has no emotions about that. He just has a job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So a couple of things I learned in this level after four hours of playing is you actually use the sneak and remember to holster weapons when not in use. Otherwise, you'll just make it yes. a lot harder for yourself, as certain, I find. Uh, I don't know if they do it in this game, but in, in other games, certain disguises are allowed to carry certain weapons. But uh, Yeah, they do it in this game. If you carry certain weapons, so, they won't question it. But if you carry the wrong weapon, which we'll see in Colombia, if you carry like a silver ball or you like Hitman's signature silence pistol, everyone will be like, "What the hell are you doing with that?" Okay, so we learned from we learned from the hooker, I believe, that the CIA guy is down here. Yeah, but like apparently Hitman already knows that, and by Hitman I meant the guy. I meant the code name forty seven here. I don't know what the fuck this bitch is doing down here. Yeah, I don't know why she when I um, did you have the, was it because you had the had a bloody knife out? I was like, no, she just knew me from like beyond the wall. I was like, how did she see me? But since I kept this video in, obviously I succeed. So don't worry about like bloopers and such. I was gonna put bloopers, but I found out it took yeah, 13 minutes long. Oh, they have him in this like in this, this like crude stockade. So, Apparently, all CIA see. agents are issued uh, American flag underwear, <laughs> yes. so, so that if you uh, if you ever want to, uh, you know, identify them, you just have to like undress them, and then you can tell exactly where they're from. That would be that's like video game logic right there. Oh, these cutscenes, they're in-game cutscenes, and you can't skip them. If it's talking dialogue cutscenes, you can skip them. That's why you're uh -huh. seeing uh, this go through because I can't skip it. And yeah. if you kill this him, guy, hmm? this guy speaking just disappeared. Of? Yeah, that guy gets rescued by 47, like, three or four separate times. In the entire in the, series, or...? In the course of the series, yeah. Okay. He he appears in a blood money mission called ha called Flatline, if you're a Hitman fan out there. Mm-hmm. He gets rescued twice in this series. Or in this uh, game. Yeah, he's uh not very competent. For some reason, it's 47's job to rescue him every time. Which is very weird. Also, you have to... You have to make sure you don't skip his dialogue, or else he won't. You won't know where the safe is, and there's four safe locations, and it's in this fucking place. Yeah, Some this is guy. The one to get to. Oh, <laughs> so you agree with me? This one's pretty hard, right? Yes. Cause... Some guy said this was the easiest one to do, and I was like, "What?" There's, there's one where you can literally just walk in and take it. Exactly. No, no guards at all. Or there's one guard. There's always just one, at least one. But this one yeah. has two. Well, for the one, the, there's like a, there's just like one guard there, and you can just you can just wait for him to turn his back and then leave. Oh yeah, it's really you, simple. You do you know that thing where you lean to the side and shoot? For some reason, it clips your it has your like cursor locked at certain like uh at, on a grid line, so it made aiming really unnecessarily difficult. Yeah, aiming in these games is not good. This is not a shooter game. 
Yet it turns into one, as you mentioned. Yeah, and to they, me. they try to make it one, but they miserably fail. Because you also die incredibly easy. Yeah, and there's no, like, the, the saves, like, the, don't exist mid, mid level. Nope! You, you, gotta you die do it and go to the beginning of the level no matter what. You die, and, like, if you're lucky, the level might have, like, two, like, like retries, which isn't really good because they know who you are already, and you'll, you'll see that in the, the blooper video. Another stereotypical Chinese old man. Oh, guess what? He's also an agent. Some kind of one, yeah. Because if you kill him, which I found out, uh, you fail the mission. I was like, fuck. So since you skipped his dialogue, we're going to have to explain that that's poison that he gave us. Yes, to poison, poison, to, kill Lee, poison to kill Lee Hong with. No, no, no. Soon, the big fat guy. Well, you're supposed to try to use it to kill Lee Hong. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon, but... taste test it for him. So anyway, you have to... And apparently the game doesn't let you poison Lee Hong's soup unless you have on a... Uh, waiter outfit. A waiter outfit. It Which doesn't make any sense. Even if there's no one watching you, you need a waiter outfit to do it. You know what? You're going to laugh at the blooper because I didn't know that until I looked it up. And I was like, they don't tell you this in the game. I was just like, did I break the game or something? Yeah, it, do it doesn't make any sense at all. Well, it makes... Well, it makes sense in the well, not the poisoning, but the like uh, the method to do it. But like, I I don't agree with it. I don't agree with yeah, it. You have to like take it to him personally, apparently. If Hello, buddy. I'm just sneaking behind you, and oh. Yeah, he doesn't be. He doesn't turn around and be like, "What the hell?" In the, the Columbus and later Hitman games will turn around and be like, "Huh?" Like if you're creeping upon them. Actually, they do do that in this game, but only in the Columbia level, which uh, yeah. I'll have to edit. Because uh, the guys in the Columbia level like, Do you have to stay close so close to me? I won't do anything about it. Alright, so getting to the soup. Now, apparently the bathroom guard... Bathroom guard does not notice at all. The, uh... Nope. But he, see here, there's no reason why you, you couldn't just, like, poison the soup while no one was looking. And then have the waiters have actually have deliver waiter it. Have the waiter take it to him. Like, there's, there's no reason why that shouldn't happen. Yeah, and you also need that cutscene where it's like, serve the soup for Mr. Lee Hong, or else you won't get to put the poison in the soup. And it's like, fuck you. I restarted yeah. three times because I thought the game glitched out on me. Yeah, now this this guy's the bodyguard soon. He's a real big guy. And I thought he was actually supposed to be invincible, but you can actually kill him. You can kill him. It takes, like, if you have an AK-47, it'll take, like, five shots to the head to kill him. It's ridiculous how much health he has. And here's an important thing, host the weapon or else they think uh, it's you, because, you know, immediately. Uh, but, but they should. No, but apparently nobody saw. Yeah, no, nobody saw, even though you're in the middle of the dining room. Yeah, and the fact that this isn't, like I said, the only way to do it. Like, you can you can kill Tsun later on by, like, shooting him, but... That's so hard to do. Like he'll he's it's... almost always gonna kill you before you kill him. Oh yeah, he also has the magical ability to teleport everywhere, so if you try to be somewhere else while he's somewhere else, he'll be where you are. I've yeah. had that happen where it's like a but like let's say I didn't kill him in the restaurant and he was waiting in the restaurant and I go to like the, the secret hideout headquarters, he'll be right there. Like just walking around chillaxing and he can see through your disguises. Which apparently not during the waiter part portion of yeah, it. Yeah, so we're taking an underground route to Li Hong's actual penthouse where he's where he's going. Yes, because uh, he always locks the main gate. If uh yeah. if he well like when that when that scene happens. So uh here I try to be like, hmm There's Mr. Hong. Where, how do I kill him? He also has a letter on him too. So I yes, try to he's be got, stealthy about it. He's got a bit of main story. There's a reason why someone wants him dead, pretty much. By the way, he takes out a sword to try and <laughs> fight you. So wait, that guy walked right past you. Like, <laughs> he heard the silenced gun go off. Even though it's supposed to be silenced. Well, silenced guns don't aren't silent. I, I know. Like, they, they're, they're pretty loud. They're just not as loud as regular guns. So, But if you're in the room with a silenced gun, you're going to know. So he, he heard the silence gun go off twice, saw you putting something in your jacket, and didn't put two and two together that you nope. shot somebody. So much, he's, he wasn't very good at math. And here I do something really stupid because I wanted to do it for laughs, and he headshots <laughs> me. <laughs> he, he headshots oh, me, and I was that's, like... You know, that's why you don't do things like that. Yes, but that's I was like... That's why you also use the... Use the um, fiber wire. Use the fiber wire, because if you, it's have, also, if you just have the fiber wire, no... No one in, in the least later games. You you have to uh, press the sneak button. If you just stand and take out a weapon, they they hear you taking out the weapon. That's that's the thing. 
I see. So I tried dragging this guy, and well, that's as far as he ever went. In later games, just having fiber wire is not suspicious, but having a knife is suspicious. Reasonable, reasonable. So that's it for all the Hong Kong and levels. Like, pull the fiber wire and get ready to strangle someone with it. Hmm, that guy over there looks familiar. Yep. Perfect. So we see Lee Hong and a very familiar voice. Yes, yeah, so that's it for all the Hong Kong levels. Next time it'll be the Columbia levels. But we are going to go watch the uh, bleeps and bloops for the Lee Hong assassination. 13 minutes of a condensed 3 hour, 3-4 three, hours of fuckage.